love tapes. I'll always love tapes. It's just kind of an obscure format to do anything. Uh, to make music off of or to release music onto, I think that it's, uh, it's an interesting format. I think it's an interesting medium. I think that uh, not a lot of people have tape players anymore, and the people that do probably don't think about it. But there's a small group of people, a community of people that really like tapes, and they're diehard fans about tapes and everything tape related. And I guess that's where I fall into this weird subgenre of people, I guess. Do you find yourself explaining tapes to people all the time? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. What, what, do you, what do you usually say? Uh, well, I guess my canned answer is like, there's always, like, nostalgia's huge. Nostalgia plays a lot into uh, tapes and cassette culture and why people are drawn to them. Um, but I also think there's this well, whole new generation of kids who are also not nostalgic about tapes, that have no experience with tapes, that are just discovering tapes as a format for themselves. But do you think it'll even sustain itself? Or do you foresee an end to the tape resurgence? I guess for me, I don't think it'll, it'll ever end. <laughs> uh, it just won't. And that's part of what has kept it alive, is people who never gave up on it. Maybe we got off track with the roof. 
Let's happy. put you back inside. You, you made the situation. Alice. I know. I, I figured you'd want to be on a roof, but maybe not, but there's all these concerns. Well, there... I'm yeah. just trying to figure out. Well, if I you mean, were offered three doors, one through one door is the perfect sound system with a record on it. Through the middle door is a perfect sound system with a CD on it. Through the third door, there's a perfect sound system with uh, a download. It's a computer okay. and headphones. Uh, and then the next door is all the things I just said with headphones. And then the last door is a tape player. I, I, there's actually too many options. So, well, so there's a record I got room. screwed up because I, I realized there's a difference there's a between room, out loud and... There's a tape room, there's a CD room, and there's a room with all of them. No. What? No. What is that? I, there's a room, there's a room, there's an out loud... This is actually a... <laughs> this is an out loud record, out loud tape, out loud... CD out loud computer. Out loud meaning like speakers. Meaning there's nice out. speakers. Okay. So you don't have to have headphones on. Got it. Then there's those rooms, they're on the opposite side of the hall. They they correspond. So like if that's one, two, three, four, okay. there's one A, two A, three A, four A. And in those rooms it's the same setup, but you get the you got really nice headphones. So, Which room do you go in? So, okay. One, two, You're three, four, one A, two A. So there's, do you prefer speakers to headphones and then I guess we could have settled that question first. do you prefer? Room one, two, three, four, one A, two A, three A, four A. What's one A? What? One A is record player with headphones. Don't think I don't know my system. That's one. So there's, so then one, so is one, so there's two tapes? No, two is CD. What's three again? Tape. You're running out of questions. I don't really... I'm, okay, I guess... I would do... I've got it wired in, so I, it's a very minimal setup of just uh, yeah, plug the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, this is like the evolution of it now. It's like two, four tracks mm -hmm. going crazy. Yeah, you said that. Oh, so four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's actually a little busted, but uh, it's, uh, it works. Mm -hmm. It usually has the mixer and the, uh, the main uh, drum source. Yeah. That's massive. Thank you, dude. Thank you.
I don't see a dolphin. know how much I want to do that. I might just be like, 50 bucks sounds good <laughs> to <laughs> sleep, you know, because we're getting old. is killing me. <laughs>
people who say that tapes sound shitty. I think that a lot of old tapes specifically sound shitty because they're worn, they're overplayed, they're warped. I think that's something to celebrate. I do think it's something to celebrate. Like, if you listen to an album yeah. that much, that it's physically worn down, it is kind of like a... I don't know, like a badge, like you've earned it. Like, I've listened to this cassette so much in my life that uh, it is so uh, worn down and wobbly and weird sounding that it's unrecognizable now, but that's how many times I've listened to it. I, I mean, there's not like a, the degradation that is there is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of fascinating. Well, you can listen to your iTunes a million times and that song will always sound the same. I mean, I think tapes are limitless. You can do, you can record whatever you want onto them. You know, when you're one person trying to run a, a label, if I sit on, a, a, you know, 50 tapes that didn't sell, at least I know that I didn't spend a thousand dollars trying to make them. It's easier hit to take. So it's it, practical. It's practical, and you're able to take more chances on, on cassettes. You're able to take more chances on music, like things that would normally be released um, or no one would release on record because they were unsure about, you can release on tape and make 25 of them and it'll be fine.